Hey there, Charlotte Batty of Mini Adventures Mountain Biking Experiences. I've joined up with Canadian Cycling Magazine and Tourism Sault Ste. Marie to check out some of the new trails they've been building. Let's go check them out. Today I have a riding buddy, Travis Anderson, uh, Director of Tourism Sault Ste. Marie. Travis, are you going to show me around the trails today? Absolutely. Let's go. So for somebody that's never ridden here before, like how would you describe it to them? Farmer Lake Trail is like modern, flowy XC. You know, it's a blue level trail. It's got some challenging pieces, but it's, you know, anybody can ride it. Mm -hmm. Got a great backcountry experience. You kind of come through, you know, some pristine forest. You know, there's no development around and then you get spit out at this beautiful lake cool little spot to take a break. And then the plan for next year is we're gonna keep building to, um, to Crystal Lake and that'll make the trail about 20K out and back. And then, you know, the other side benefit is we were able to groom this all winter. So it's great fat biking oh, cool. as well. Nice. You know, we had an awesome ride out to Farmer. We're chilling, having a little lunch break here at uh, Belarusian. These guys have been great. I mean, they're, they're a huge help in terms of developing and fostering the, the bike culture here. The beauty of the Sioux is you're never far from the trails. You know, it's about 10 minutes from downtown. And if you are downtown, you've got Algoma Bicycle, which is fantastic. It's right beside Outspoken Brewery. And then you've got Duke of Windsor just down the street from there and great service at, uh, at both of those shops as well. Okay, so now that I'm refueled, <laughs> where are we headed out to ride this afternoon? Yeah, so we're going to head over to the Crystal System. We're going to do some of the new flow that we built last year. And uh, first trail we're going to hit is Burn Baby Burn, which is kind of an all ages, all skill level flow slash jump trail. Right on, sounds wicked. It's been a jam-packed day, but I'm having so much fun. Uh, but what I'm really excited for is to join this Titty Tuesday Ladies Night Ride. So I'm so excited to be jumping in with them this evening. First of all, I want to say thank you for everyone who's taking time out of their busy life to come and play bikes with us. Woohoo! Woo on a Tuesday night. So Titty Tuesday is a place for women to come together and play bikes. Geared to any, any ability, any level. Kind of started with the focus of a never ever beginner rider, but because we've done it for five or six seasons now, we have some real lady shredders that come along. When we started, we were getting about 25 people out, six or eight volunteers. Um, now we're getting you know 50 to 80 women out. I have 40 wow. women volunteers who help us out with this ride. Riding bikes is not easy. Come, do hard things, get rewarded. So Danielle, we're headed out day two. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun so far. Um, can you tell me a little bit about where we're gonna ride today? Yeah, so we're gonna hit up the Red Pine Trail System uh, just over there at Hiawatha. So uh, Red Pine's cool is kind of part of our heritage or our history as uh, Sault Ste. Marie mountain bikers. Um, some of the first trail that was made in Sault Ste. Marie was made on the Red Pine system. So it can be a little bit gnarlier, um, a little bit rockier and um, person made, not machine made. So it adds uh, like a unique flavor to the trails we offer. It's 
been a day and a half of lots of trail riding, lots of mountain biking. Um, my legs are starting to feel it. So uh, Graham from Red Pine Tours today, we're gonna check out the Hub Trail um, and some other options aside from mountain biking here in the Sioux. Yeah, still lots of options, lots of things to see. Um, so we can, we'll do like an urban tour. I'll show you around some of the hot spots. Awesome. Um, things that I like to do, like this is pretty much my backyard. I live not too far from here and it links right into the Hub Trail. Uh, so I ride this routinely as kind of a, even just a commuter route. Lots to see. We'll go head down to the waterfront and check it out from there. Fabulous. So this is uh, the Canal District machine shop area. It was formerly a, a paper mill. And what they've done is reestablished it as like an event space. So there's three or four restaurants on site, a brewery, an outfitter. Our train tour operator runs out of here. So the train picks up and drops, drops off tourists right at this location. Uh, lots happening. There's events run all season, weddings, concerts, festivals, everything like that. So a really happening place. So this is the Sioux Canal National Historic Site. So it's a recreational lock um, and it provides access for recreational boaters, fishermen, people in sailboats uh, to get from the riverside up to Lake Superior. Uh, this is Ontario's first paved pump track. It's been around for about five or six years now. This was great for when my kids were learning to ride a bike. We'd, we'd take them here. Uh, there's sections for like new young riders to learn and then right up to more established and skilled riders can have a lot of fun here. So this section of the hub trail is the boardwalk. So it spans the entire waterfront uh, near our downtown. A uh, great place to watch sunsets, fishermen, lake freighters, lots of activity down here. You'll see families, everybody, tourists coming down and enjoying this space. Um, access to bars and restaurants all along the way as well. It has been two fantastic days of riding between checking out the mountain bike trails and now this afternoon the hub trail, uh, getting to see some of the sites in the city, the waterfront. Uh, but the best way I think to conclude these two days is by visiting one of the local microbreweries. We have Outspoken Brewing Co. and Northern Superior Brewing here, which we're about to check out. Everything has ex totally exceeded my expectation the last two days uh, between the riding, the community, the people. It is so incredible here. Highly suggest you need to add Sault Ste. Marie to your list of destinations to come and check out via bikes. Happy riding!